Tonight I wanted to show Alter number 40 loading and playing Star Trek in Extended Basic. We'll start by turning on our terminal, which is set for 1200 baud. And we will turn on our Alter. which is a little fin finicky and I will press run and we will have extended basic up here I have the setup for extended basic in ROM using a 16k um, EP ROM board with 2708 chips so there we go And we are in basic with 48K. Lots and lots of space for programs. So now we will load Star Trek. So I'll try and do this one handed here. So C load Star Trek. And we'll press. Um, well, let's make sure we got this hooked up right. That monitor. Going to play in. Okay, we're good. Here we are rewound. Good. So we press enter and play. Now this process takes about two minutes with this program. Three minutes. So this will give you a, a sense of just how long it takes to load a program over cassette tape. This is going into the 88 ACR card. It's a cassette board made by MITS. So I'm using almost all original equipment here. The one with the one exception being that I'm using the uh, 2 SIO JP board. So that's a modern version of the 2 SIO board. I do have 2SIO board on its way, original 2SIO. Um, but this board has been really helpful for troubleshooting and for just general tinkering and playing around with this computer. So I'm pretty happy with it. Works really well with this terminal and it's very configurable so it's easy to set up without having to solder straps um, on a original board over and over again. So what will happen is when Star Trek is loaded, it'll say OK over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you any kind of feedback. It doesn't let you know whether it's found the program, uh, which is what you'd expect to see on like a Commodore PET in 77, in 76, 75. Uh, with the Altair and Microsoft Basic, you didn't get that. You just had to hope that it was playing in. And if for some reason the load time was longer than you'd expect, then you could bet that it wasn't working properly. picked up this ADM3A in Washington DC, or actually in Maryland, right outside of DC. And I was really fortunate to find it in completely working condition, didn't need to do anything with it. This system has been a little bit of work. Uh, the backplane needed some rewiring. If I remember correctly, I think the front panel had a bad piece of logic that if something was stuck, stuck bit. I had to remove a fair amount of 
power supply modifications that were made to restore it to its original state. It does have its original power supply, but there were there were some there was an extra tr uh, transformer, some extra capacitors that were pretty pre precariously uh, installed. But oh, there we go. Okay, so we can press stop on the cassette tape. We can go over here and we'll press run. It's always good to get a view of the lights when this run. Yep. Pressing no, because we don't have the instruction file in here. We're gonna go choose 76. Random number. And there we go. Star Trek. Objective destroy 36 Klingon battle cruisers in 36 years. The number of star bases is three. I'm not gonna play through this game. But it's a classic. You should play it sometime. There are plenty of emulators online where you can see it played. It's pretty amazing to see it, this program running on a computer from 1975. Thanks for watching.